hello capricorn thank you for clicking on my channel welcome to the journey home my name is Catherine, and i live in nova scotia sorry i had a brain gap there um i changed a word in the opening so it made me gave me pause and i forgot to shuffle these cards until something flew out so i'll do that quickly and then we'll get straight into i'll take that one straight into the reading we are looking at the <clears throat> surrounding energies what came up for you in the animal oracle capricorn was the ram this be you it's also talking about a breakthrough for you and to be careful not to be ramming your head up against a brick wall or an immovable mountain but it does talk about having a breakthrough if you stay grounded which capricorns are you good at you have some help here from someone else this person uh, has a lot of wisdom plus they're in touch with their spiritual side so this is going to help you have this breakthrough through this being grounded you can't be too grounded you need still that esoteric side that that spiritual side this person is going to help you getting in touch with that side of you in the fairy oracles what we had what came up for you and was you the earth mother this is about um enjoying the fruits of your labors the mother figure and this is about honesty now this is to say that you need to have everything laid out in these next few days or week um next 10 days things need to be clear if someone is presenting you with something you want clarity on it if it's paperwork you want to see between the lines if it's about uh, someone confessing something you want to show some compassion but you want nothing no stone left unturned you want the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and it looks like this is going to be revealed to you this week perhaps this truth is what is going to help with this breakthrough and this person who helps to balance you in the more spiritual side because you can't be completely earth you need a, a so you need this connection to spirit so in this connection with the spirit world this person help helping to um be the gateway so to speak is helping you will help you have this breakthrough so if something is coming to light this week um you'll need to draw on your compassion if something is being told to you you also there's this there's like a balance needed between cold and calculating and compassion but it's something that you're going to be dealing with this week that you well uh, look to the help of this person who has this spiritual side that will help you with this breakthrough all right at the bottom of the deck yeah it's bringing a decision that you have to make this week cap a decision between uh, people places things energies jobs your crowning energy oh it's got you up at night sleepless worried thinking that the problem is actually bigger than what it is which is exactly why this person is around to help help you balance you're holding on to something that you need to let go of this is also the miser card you know holding on really really tight uh, to something that you believe is yours could be you saving money but i think this is something you're holding on that you believe is yours you're not letting go of this energy because it's got you up at night ten of cups could it be blocking you from this emotional fulfillment that you are entitled to the happy family the happy home 
Are you feeling like there is a risk of losing someone in the family that you're holding on to? Maybe a child leaving home. Princess of Wands. The Princess of Wands. This is a um, really passionate energy. Let's have a look here. I like the way they say it in this deck. Fuel of the fire. Oh boy. Are you fueling the fire, Capricorn? Thank heavens for this person stepping in. This more spiritually guided person to help balance you. You're the Mother Earth. This could be dealing with children leaving home or children doing stuff that you're not happy with. Um, there is going to be a breakthrough, but you need honesty. Five of Swords. Uh, blockages. Are you blocking yourself? Are you blocking someone else? This looks like an empty victory. It looks like you win, but it's an empty victory. Perhaps because you're fueling the fire. Holding on to this energy that needs to be let go of. Death. Something will end. The hangman. Whether you like it or not, Cap, you're going to be hung on a tree. And you're going to stay there, says the spirit, until you see things from a different perspective. It's going to block abundance. It's going to block happiness and your ten of cups. Until you get grounded in... Um, grab your Mother Earth energy back again. And the Mother Earth... She needs that honesty, if anything, to be told the truth, even if it hurts. But that breakthrough, I, I'm telling you, this person, whoever this person is that has, is in your life, is a blessing to help you with this breakthrough. Because it has you stuck up in your head. You're holding on to something that you should not be holding on to. It's blocking you from your joy. And you're fueling the fire, which is not a good thing. It's only, you'll win, but it will be an empty victory and there will be an ending. So now you're stuck on this tree. Here we're at the heart of your reading. The heart of your reading is three of wands waiting for your ships to come in. And they will come in, Capricorn, more than you expected. There's a lot of abundance here for you. Right at the heart of your reading, there is a lot of abundance here. What will come in, it's like what you let go of, will come in um, multiplied. Will return to you multiplied. And here you are finally walking away. It's something that you invested in, that up here you felt you needed to hang on to. It was, it, it, it's almost, I get the air of ownership. But you don't own anyone. And finally, you walk away from the situation, all that you had invested in and said, well, you're walking through a very narrow passage right now. But look at this. The moon is your guide. Look at this. The knowledge and wisdom of the moon is here in this person. This person is here at a time in your life at just the right time just for this situation to help guide you through this transition this death this transformation you're confused you have a lot of options and you're not sure which one to choose that's this narrow passage so it's almost like you're choosing to walk away but then you take a step back and say well i could try these other things so I can hold on. It's not going to work, Cap. It's not going to work. Time waits for no man. But you do have a brand new beginning when you come through this um, narrow passageway. It's like a gateway for you right now, Capricorn. You're at a gateway. 
And this is a brand new beginning that has none of the negativity or the baggage. Brand new. And you're going to fly high above the mountains. You'll be the ram at the top of the mountain. Not ramming your head against the mountain, but owning the mountain. Making your breakthrough. Protecting your family. This last card is that you're still looking. See, you're you took a step back here, Capricorn. Oh, bless you. It's tough, I know, especially when you're the Earth Mother. But you planted these seeds, and you're waiting for the harvest. You're you're still waiting for that harvest. I don't think you realize, Capricorn, that your harvest is this very thing that you're blocking the very thing that you're blocking you feel that by holding on you're holding on to the family unit but you need to let go this could be a child leaving home this could be a breakup of a marriage you're holding on to what you believe is the ten of cups because you're the earth mother you rule the roost this is how it is. There's no other way. I have a victory and it's an empty victory and you're fueling the fire. Just keep adding fuel to the fire. Universe is stepping in Capricorn to pull you in line and hang you on that tree until you see things um, for your own good because your ships that are coming in will what you let go Capricorn is going to come back to you threefold. This is a very narrow passageway you're in right now. I think that breakthrough that you're going to have is the decision to follow that moon. To trust spirit, to trust the guidance, whether you like it or not, Capricorn universe has its way you have your way you can put out the intentions you have free choice but it's like that be careful what you wish for because when it comes back it might not be what you expected because your intentions were not pure i hope that isn't too hard on you guys i love you guys you know that I see good things here, good, good things here. But you, right now, you have you're a, you you have a challenge in front of you, and it's got you up at night, and you're holding on, thinking, "Look, it's always worked this way, so I'm going to keep doing it the way I've always done it because it's kept my family together, it's kept my stability intact, it's kept things balanced." It's and and I'm sorry to say, Capricorn, it sounds like. You've got the attitude of my way or the highway, and you're ramming up against a, um, an immovable mountain. But this beautiful help that's come in. There's a person who's helping, maybe someone who's praying for you. Spiritually helping you. Some, someone you may not even be aware who is praying for you. seven of swords so there's been some sneakiness going on this could be why you want honesty you're coming to the crux of it all this week over the next 10 days coming to the point where okay all the cards are on the table um, a person got caught maybe some sneakiness going on that got exposed Clarifying up in your head is an emperor. Perhaps this is, you know, your significant other. 
perhaps this is you. This can be very stubborn energy. You could be dealing with an Aries. It's in the Aries card. But the energy is about this empire that you've built or you built with this person. And th there's control issues here. The emperor also can be very controlling. So you may be taking on these energies and wanting to control a situation. You have a decision to make to either let go or I'm surprised I haven't seen the tower yet. But you need to make a decision to let go of this energy or this person. What belongs to you comes back to you. But what you let go is coming back threefold in blessings and abundance. Keep that in mind. You could be dealing with uh, another earth sign. I believe this is Virgo that you had a family with, home with, joy with, happiness. Uh, and it could be a person you're waiting for. This is very slow moving energy. It could be that cat, if, if you're dealing with a person who is very slow, their energy is slowly, slowly, slowly coming your way, moving towards you. You may be wanting to whip them into speeding up they're not going to speed up in fact they're not even moving here knight of pentacles always finishes the cross crossroads or the, the finish line but look this deer doesn't even know if it's a tree or it's an actual person moving this person is not moving not the way you want them to so perhaps you're fueling the fire you broke up with them and said okay i'm going on my own then you don't do it my way. I'm going on my own. Or this could be the person that's trying to leave you. You know, whether it's a child or a spouse. Wants to be independent, but you're fueling the fire. Five of Swords. It's very controlling energy here. Whether it's you or them, or maybe both of you. Five of Swords and Seven of Wands. Empty victory. So now you're going to come back. Um, being more playful see if you can fix it by you know let's have a more productive argument let's joke around a bit let's wrestle let's have some fun but inevitably there's transformation there is an ending could be with another earth sign Or it could be that a significant, this could be you that's going through this transformation, but it could be them that's going through a transformation as well. Again, five of swords. There's been uh, some sneaky activities. You're standing your ground though. Look at you, the dragonfly. You're standing your ground against the whole family if you have to. But you are, mm, looks like you're banging your head up against that mountain. That's why you're in hangman mode. Nothing is moving. You need strength. You need courage. You need to be brave. You need to tame your ego. You need to uh, release control issues that things are going to go your way you need to release so that this can come in for you and what's coming in is capricorn it's beyond your wildest dreams honestly this is a wonderful card to get for someone who is expecting something but by letting go being brave releasing control issues taming the ego what comes back is abundant, more abundance than you expected. So with the walking away card, we have victory. You're going to do it. You're going to do it, Capricorn. How freaking Louis. You're going to get through that passage victoriously. You're going to finally connect with that spiritual side of yourself 
and it's going to guide you right straight to victory. Will you have love? Yes. You will have commitment, love, unity, everyone looking up to you going, wow, Capricorn, so proud of you. Look at all that Cap accomplished. The Seven of Cups. You're ma trying to manifest something here. Uh, and I, I see manipulation. This can be a manipulation card when it's paired with, with this. Confusion, manipulation, trying to drink from all the cups at once, having everything, and it, it really has a, a greedy air to it. Trying to manifest what you want instead of what is the good of all. You'll do it, though, Cat. You're finally going to cut out all of the crap, even if you have to be single. You're an intimidating foe. But again, we come back to the honesty card and what's coming out and being revealed in this these next few days, next week, 10 days, or whenever you click on the, the title of this reading. You're going to be cutting out all of the things that needed to be released. And you have this brand new beginning that doesn't have the negativity, the baggage, the past. The past is left behind. And look at this. Then a message comes in that you're going to be so happy about. You're going to say, Cap, guess what? A path just opened up and your harvest can be picked up over there. It's ready. You have luck on your side as well. Divine feminine. I think that divine timing is at play here. This harvest, uh, maybe your family, it's it's coming to fruition. And the turnout is not what you planned, not what you tried to manipulate, not what you tried to form yourself, because you are the Earth Mother. It's only natural for you to create. In a, you know, I've built this empire my way. This is how I want the empire run. And then something got thrown in the mix, a monkey wrench. And so you fast and furious try to manipulate things to make it work a different way and then a different way and then a different way. And none of these ways worked. So you finally had to go through that uh, moment of reckoning, that spiritual awakening, and then everything starts to open up for you. Everything starts to open up for you. Do you want to find out what's going on in love? Oh, gosh, I lost my sense of timing here. Capricorn, I'm still in the first part of the reading. I'm not in the uh, extended. I'm going to take it over to the... I can't do this to you. I have to do this now. Son of a gun. After this, I'll take it over to the extended reading. And if any of this resonated for you and... Uh, the cost of an extended reading gives you access to all of the Zodiac and all the Afternoon Delight extended readings as well for a month. And if this resonated for you at all and you want more clarification or personalized for you, ask me a question beneath the extended reading and I'll be happy to pull you a card. That's included in that cost and it's because it's a lot of fun getting to know you guys. It's my way of saying thank you. And everyone loves uh, the idea of going to the extended readings for a free snack. Anything else for Capricorn regarding love? All right. After this, I will end this reading and go to the website. Oh. Also, Capricorn, personal readings are on special until the 1st of August. Ask as many questions as you want, and I'll answer as many as I can in a 15 to 20, 25, 30, 35. I have to buy a timer because I have no discipline, obviously. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith is going to bring this romance in. You have someone. This may not be a romantic partner. It may be a child. It may be a friend. It may be someone you are even unaware of that is praying for you. I know I am. Trust. The situation is calling you to have faith. Have a little faith in yourself, Cap. All right. I'm going to open this up more over at the extended reading to see what's what's. I think 
what kind of an ending this is going to be. I think it'll be good. I want this to see super good. God bless you, Cap. See you over there. Bye for now.